All right. You guys ever hear the term, only God can judge me? <laughs> Don't judge me. Only God can judge me. Well, this morning, I, I've, been, I've been going through the book of Revelation. I'm in chapter 20 already. And so I read chapter 20 and I thought, whoa, I wouldn't even want God to judge me. So maybe I shouldn't use that term. So people that say, don't judge me, only God can judge me. I don't think they know what they're talking about. Re Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. Revelation 20, verse 11. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things that were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it. And then death and Hades delivered up the dead who were with them, who were in them. And they were judged according to their works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. And this is the second death. And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And so I thought of this term, you know, only God can judge me. And I thought, you know, I would rather have you judge me than have God judge me. Because if I'm not found but written in the book of life and he judges me, I'm going to be cast into the lake of fire. So you know what? Go ahead and judge me because maybe if you judge me, it'll cause me to repent or, or, or see the light or come to my senses. And then I can repent and turn away from my sin because God's so gracious. And then he'll write my name in the book of life. But if I have this attitude of you can't judge me and I'm full of pride, we just read about how God resists the proud. I mean, we don't want God to judge us. It's just something that we, we shouldn't be saying. Only God can judge me. Don't judge me. That's all. All it is is pride. And God resists the proud. So as Christian, 1 Corinthians says that we should judge one another. And those of the outside, we should not judge. So feel free to judge one another. For what? In order that we, you know, that, that, we, that we turn back to Jesus. But to say only God can judge me, that's a scary thing. Because God's not only going to, God's going to judge death, God's going to judge Hades, God's going to judge all the dead, every single dead. And those not written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. Yeah, I, I think that when you said about judging one another, I, I think when we do that, I think we're doing that, that goes back to that love thing, because we love them so much. Yes. We don't want them to perish. So we, we, our, our concern is so much that we have that such a great concern for their soul that they won't perish. They won't go to the, you know, what you said in Revelations, you know, the lake of fire and, and, and in Hades, you know, we, we, won't, we don't want them to be cast in that. But we can't, we can only have that compassion for them and love for them that, that they would repent and turn from their wicked ways. <clears throat> but that's all we can do because we can't save anybody and we can't force anybody. But yeah, we should have that love and compassion. So yeah, so you're absolutely right. And I think that's why God has called us to do that. It's not to judge them. It's that we do it with the love and compassion for them. That's a great take on that, that you welcome brothers to judge you, uh, to keep you from being in a lake of fire. You know, that's, that shows spiritual maturity. Because, you know, when we've talked about before, you know, if you're, you're offended by this word, then you may need to grow up spiritually. And um, that's what happens a lot, you know. If you, if you, I mean, you have to do it in love, but if you point out someone that's doing something wrong because you love them, um, they get offended. 
Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that, that's a sign of spiritual maturity that you can, and we should all be have each other's back, call up, you know, if someone's doing something wrong, um, we should be able to, you know, because we love you, set you straight. I want to say it's funny how you said that everyone here feels like they're not worthy to be here with the other brother. You know, yeah. You know, it's also what what they'd be for saying, "Oh, well, who's the greatest?" You know. And so we all say, you know, hey, um, I'm the lowest here. But no, we we all fall short. That's good. That's that's also a sign of spiritual maturity. By the Bible is very clear in verse 11. I then I saw a gray white throne and who sat on it from the whose face the earth and heaven fell away, and there was some no place for them. And I saw the death, small and great, standing before God. Book were open, see, the book were open. Yeah. The judgment, the judgment, God will just. The book were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. God would just. And the dead were just according to their work by the thing which were written in the book. According to, you see, according to their work, you see. God will judge according to their work. Okay. God will walk according to our work. God will judge. 